Why, hello, and welcome to another episode of Read the Manga. I am Kata. Jude here. And I'm Gear. What's up? Um, the manga we're talking about today is Tadama ni Toritai Kurokiya-san. Yeah, see, th thank you, Kata, for for saving us for not butchering the name extremely badly. <laughs> <laughs> Any anyway, um, so this manga is kind of similar to some of the ones we've already um talked about it kind of has the same vibes as uzaki chan nagatoro san oh, oh. um not quite Kom not like Komi not san. not quite like komi san but some of the characters are yeah i, I think like we, i think we should do komi san part two yeah we one, should do a part two of one that. of these, one of these but days. um yeah. yeah we should i would say uh, funnily enough the main girl from this manga is kind of like um what's what's the trap's name uh, which one? For which series? Komi-san. Oh, Neji. Neji. Nejima. Nejime. Yeah, that's one. Nejime. <laughs> she is kind of like Nejime with how her personality is at times. Because Nejime is good at being the happy-go-lucky, in-your-face guy. Yeah. Or girl, or whatever they are. I'm pretty sure they're a guy, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, they actually did admit they were a guy to this one guy that was confessing. That's yeah, true. So, uh, take that as but, well. Yeah, but that's also, you gotta take it with a grain of salt. Yeah, that, 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 that's the thing. You can't really take it seriously or not. Because, like, their their androgyny level is just off the charts. Alright, anyway. Anyway. Um, her but, name is Rue. But, like, Nejime, she also isn't very good at when it comes to dealing with people who are straightforward and honest about everything. And funny enough, this is where we go to our main mm -hmm. protagonist. Tadama. Tadama is absolutely the most straightforward, bold protagonist that you will ever see in any manga and eventually anime if this gets an anime. His literal motto is be straightforward. And funny enough, she was the one that suggested that to him when they, they were, were kids. kids. And, and they both like each other. It's so wholesome. And you know it as soon as you see them, but neither one of them wants to admit it. Because <laughs> they're so em embarrassed. They're like cinnamon rolls. <laughs> but like, she, she was the, she's the reason he's like this. <laughs> And she has no one to blame but herself. And it's funny <laughs> enough, like there's a chat, there's one chapter where she, where she really wants to, like, oh, I want him to like, crumble me, like, oh, I, I can't touch, I can't touch him, oh, oh no, like, like you see in every anime or any anime yeah. protagonist do, and he, and he's like, like, oh, you want your wallet? Go get it. And he literally goes for it, and I'm not gonna tell you where. <laughs> I'm probably gonna put it in post, and put something to cover it, but. He Basically, go, he goes going down the shirt. <laughs> he goes in. Long story short, he goes down the shirt. And, like, he's so straightforward with it. And there was even a point where they do AMS... Yeah, hold on, hold on, I just tongue twisted myself there. AM, <laughs> AMSR. There we go. ASMR. Dang it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> they did that. And she was and she was being all, like, trolling about it. And then she was like, like oh yeah, I love you, by the way. And and then like she, as soon as she starts yawning, he's like, "Oh, I guess I have to do it to you too." And she, it's like <laughs> just blank, just like I like, love you. It's like you do like like go to sleep and all that stuff. And he's like, "Oh, she's like, oh my god, it's like the money maker. Like she's like a little bit of everything. It's like, oh god, oh yeah. There's also another character here who is literally the embodiment of a Twitter shipper. I forget the name. I know who you're what? talking about. Why can't you guys just go with our I I had notes, but it fell out of my pocket on the way here. Well, I mean, also let me go. You, get you to don't it. expect everyone to remember the name of every single character. Okay, that's true, and I guess I would not expect to remember any other character unless her name is look. Mashiro. 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 That's her name. That's her name. Mashiro. Okay. And she is a Lily involvement on the Twitter stream. What we mentioned earlier. Why? Because she is not only a good wingman to Rue, she also is a mangaka that uses their, their little life <laughs> as a reference for her work. And I mean, can you blame her? I, I don't blame Look at how the manga's turning out. I don't, this, is like, <laughs> this is like comedy gold. Right manga self in, mangaka self-insert. Yep. 
Actually, this is a thing where most artists say, take from real life. There you go. You take it from real the life. The mangaka inserted it's himself. It's working. <laughs> they and literally inserted themselves. This whole manga could be from the point of the mangaka himself. in the manga. <laughs> so at this point, she goes like spies on when she sometimes doesn't come to her like little study sessions. She'll hide in the closet. I'm not give I'm not making this up. There, she's really in the closet and just stating like I don't need a lover. I just need this. This is my my This obsession. is my love story. <laughs> this is what it's supposed to be. This is my ore monogatari. <laughs> this, is, this is what I need. <laughs> oh, boy. That's an underrated anime too. Oh, that is a I'm surprised it's so underrated. It's so good. Mm-hmm. Good. Um, there's this other guy named Ren who does find out that she is the mangaka for this one thing that she's doing, and literally he is getting stalked by her in one chapter, and she's like, "Oh, I see you found out I'm me, and I, but I also read your fan fiction too." And it's like, "Oh, this is getting complicated." Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it it gets a little convoluted. Yes. Um, I don't want to spoil. I don't think we should spoil too much further though, because we've already given a lot of juicy details. But it's so juicy though. But um, there are, are some added characters that were added recently. There is a trap, and Ren falls for. There this is trap. a trap in every manga. <laughs> I know. And every. But the, the reason why they did this is just like, oh, I just wanted one of the guys to, like give me stuff. Have and, you uh, seen Totoka Saiga? Nope. From Snafu? Oh, uh, yes. There's a trap in every Like, I anime. swear, I, I thought that was a girl at first. Like, everything. Uh. I still ship them with um, Hachiman. <laughs> and the way that he says Hachiman is like, oh, okay. I stop still stop playing. It. Okay, stop playing with my heart now. I know what you are. Don't trick with me. At some point, he's, he's thinking he doesn't even care. I, I guess so. So, but there's a trap in literally every manga and anime. It, it, it's it's like, not a surprise it's like, anymore. It's like a checklist at that point. <laughs> you need the Sundere, you need the Kudere, you need the, you yandere, need the yandere, yandere, you need the trap, the trap you need the happy-go-lucky what, you, friend. You have to need the boring, bland main protagonist that looks like every other character in the background. But for some reason is a god. <laughs> for some reason that can do anything <laughs> or do no wrong. Like, uh, they, they're literally just hitting the check marks. The only check marks they aren't hitting are the ones for superpower anime because or manga. Because guess what? This isn't a superpower one. What I say this series has going for it better than Kokomi on right at the moment is that there is less characters to actually keep Deal track. With. Yeah, there's less of them to keep track of. They're not all the, not all of them are one note stereotypes to a degree, so that's great. Also, it's, it's mostly about Rue and Tadada's relationship. Most of the time, it's about them. It's their story. Yeah, where, whereas with Komi-san, it's about Komi-san. Yeah, Komi-san and a whole bunch of other people that you're probably not going to forget or remember. That's kind of, kind of why we should make a part two eventually. We'll get to it. But I think we left at a good point So let's talk comparing about comparing them yeah. with other manga and all the... You see de- some of the GC details you're gonna have to see and read for yourself. Yes, um, I guess we've talked about characters. What do we, what do you want to talk about, really? Well, let's see. So, she's the stereotypical gal. Um, she dresses very flashy, flamboyant, she's in the, your face. Um, she tries to use this to her advantage with Tadama, trying to like lure him to confess his feelings. Um, but she's actually more shy than she leads on. Yes. So she's... She doesn't have as much depth as some characters I would like, uh, but... But I do like where she does, like, like I really like him and all that stuff. Where... Like, she acknowledges that she has those feelings and she wants it to happen. She just doesn't want to be the first one to say it. Yes. Because then she'll be, like, embarrassed. Oh, so, uh, oh, so... And she'll feel like she lost. Yes. Uh, so that is not, not much as, as we said as, not as better that's much better but as we said with Tadama he is just as straightforward as you can be yes he he's rather plain he studies all the time 
Because of her. Because of her. Because back then, she was a A-class student, and he was not. He used to be really bad at studying. Now that's all he does. Yes. Uh-huh. And now she's bad at studying. Studying because she bra- likes to be a gal instead. Which, okay, but you can't be a gal if you don't graduate. Do you know? Yeah. So, they, they, basically, they ended up switching places, more or less, in school, in the school system. Yeah. Um, I do like how Tepai, like, even when Rui's not around, like, he always feels like, oh my god, she's so quick and cute, and like, cute and everything. Like, they are both feel the same. Yeah. And that's great. And should we talk about, um... God dang, I just... The mangaka. The mangaka slash... Mashiro. Shipper. Mashiro. Oh. Uh, she is basically, I think, the Twitter audience incarnate. Yeah, that's that's the only way to explain yeah, it. Yeah, she... And if you've seen any... Any person on Twitter who makes fan art of their favorite show or couple, it's her... That's it. it that like, is her. It's her in human form. That's and pretty much... She's just it. more willing to follow you everywhere you go. Yes, and she's... She could, Though then again, some of the people on Twitter, yeah, uh, I wouldn't put it past them. Uh, not, not, no, no, no. But at least for her, she's pretty she good at hiding face about it. Yeah, that's because they haven't heard. That's because she doesn't move when she's in the closet. And not only that, she usually doesn't bring it up. And the only person that knows is Ren. But that was just by accident. Uh. I don't feel he's actually too important yet. Yeah, no, he's not really all over. He's more, he's mostly based for gags and everything, which is fine. We, uh, they always need a gag character. Yeah. Yeah, but, oh yeah, there is one more character I didn't bring up. The person who inspired Rue to become a gal in the first place. Oh yeah, her, um, yeah, her senpai. Her senpai, senpai. yeah. Uh, I was, she was different from what I was expecting, because she was getting all, actually she was getting both boys and girls. Yeah. Yeah, she was she was killing it. And then the one person that she like legs turns to jelly for is the gym teacher. Back <laughs> way back then. And don't yeah. worry, she's like above age. She's like like what is she now? Like nineteen, eighteen? I think nineteen. Yeah. Because she's graduated. She's already graduated, age. yeah. So that's like a thing. So she still has a crush on the gym teacher and then like yeah. Then again, that kind of thing happens a lot in it, in anime and manga. Crushes on all the teachers. So, does it like happen in real life when they, when some kids graduate in Japan, they try to date their teacher or something like that? And some of them try to start dating them while they're still in school too. Yikes! Yeah. Okay. There were things like that too, anyway. Uh, Remember, of... Japan is very weird. Japan with their is laws. completely different, so don't try that stuff here in the states, please. Yeah, a lot of people get misunderstandings for that. Yeah, so don't do that. Here. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, I guess I can talk about the artwork. The artwork is very bold. It has a lot of bold lines, lines and places which work. And I say this is a lot more expressive than Komi-san because god dang, these faces are meme-worthy. <laughs> they are very meme-worthy. I mean, Komi's also meme-worthy, but like mostly the cat faces. Mostly the cat faces, but this is like... Everything. Everything, uh. not just cat faces. There's like... Anger, upset. Well, until happiness. you get to until you get to Tepe. Happiness, <laughs> and then everything. and when you get to him, everything is just plain poker face. Poker face. <laughs> poker face. <laughs> I'm surprised that's not a Twitch email at this point. But my God, I was laughing so hard when the trap showed up, and the in the trap was trying to talk to Tepe, and she got so mad. Oh my <laughs> and God! And the face is just like nothing but lines in anger. Well, I'm pretty sure she's not used to being... Yeah, it's ignored yeah. by Tepe. Since, I guess they've been talking for years since, like, I yeah. still started again. Oh, oh my god! I gotta talk about her mom. There is a stupid thing that her mom does when Tepe comes over. And what is that? Um, she... she <laughs> you mean Rue's mom, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. She uh. tries to... Uh, have... She, how she I tries t- to play the ultimate wingman. Ultimate wingman slash mom. Where she puts on her daughter's old, old middle school uniform. And to embarrass him to go up to her daughter's room. room yes. And it's, it snaps. Yeah. 
Yeah, that, that's that. That's the only way to explain it. Yeah, um, I see. Buttons you go pop. Yeah, just <laughs> just read the chapter for yourself. Uh, jeez. Uh, like obviously she doesn't have an actual crush on him, but no, like, she's it, trying to move him because she knows knows that her daughter will be embarrassed. And that he'll be kind of uncomfortable, so they'll move to her room, and then she's like, "Yes, success." Yes. Um, it, it's not like um, Yusaki's mom, where she thinks um, that he's a delinquent. A delinquent for some reason, I don't know. I mean, I mean, he, I don't blame. I mean, the mom. he kind of looks like it if it's looking him in the eyes, kind of. But he's because remember, they never met until then. That's true. So she had no way of knowing. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, um, overall, this is a fun, crazy manga. It's actually more tame than I give it credit for. for yeah. So, yeah. Um, I guess, are we moving on to the rating portion? I guess so. Let's rate this thing. We know how we rate this thing. You can't, because you still haven't read it. Yes. Fair enough, fair enough. You guys continue on since you've read All it. All right, so, how we would rate this? If we're still doing from F to triple S, I mean to double S, I'd have to give it an A+. Plus. I will also give it an A. Like, it's really funny. It hits a lot of the good marks. But you could you could make it a little... You could give it a little bit more of the romantic notion because the, they're the only ones who have any romantic dynamic and theirs still doesn't exist. Yeah. Yes, um, hopefully it Like, put does, them yeah. in some situations where, like, suspension bridge effect is going to take place. Like give, a, them, give them some excitement. Yes. Like, I'm hoping they do, like, get that one chapter like that Yuzaki and Naragatoro have lately, but they're, they're getting there. Like, they yeah. finally do confess their feelings. Like, make him see someone bothering her and, and have him go help. Yes, and then maybe somehow confess, but not really confess, yeah. that he likes her. And there you go. I guess we got saw the Makaka's problems at this point. If he can understand English. <laughs> I, I highly doubt he can, but okay. But alrighty. So yeah, and the manga is definitely worth taking a look into. Yes. Um, um, but if romantic comedies aren't quite up your alley, even then it's still good as a slice of life. Yeah, if you need like a something like a quick read now and again this is a good quick read for like a couple minutes if you're bored because the chapters are also kind of small yeah they're like at least 17 to 20 chapters long you mean pages yeah pages long well technically there's like 26 chapters from what we read so far yeah that's why i said the chapters are small yeah so Alrighty. righty um, right. well thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys next time bye guys bye, bye.